So, like I said, we're um, wanting to usher in in a new type of economy, an annotation economy. Uh, and what I mean by that is an economy that that runs above the web page, on top of the web page, and creates a new governance layer for the internet. Uh, the problem is the legacy web is increasingly fragmented. People are in bubbles. Information is in silos. It's as if we are all that parable about the six blind men and the elephant where we're looking at different pieces of the problem. But since no one really has a, a full holistic view, we, we can't really under, fully understand the, the problem or even communicate with each other uh, around it because we're seeing different things. Uh, what does this do? Well, it, it leads people to not trust the web. It, you know, we're doing a lot of cousin and pacing and people are interacting in small networks. It's diminishing overall productivity and collaboration. The, the interesting thing is I, I find this just so fascinating. Industry insider Mark Andreessen in 2012 said that the, only a handful of people know that the web browser has a big missing feature and it was supposed to be in there from the start. The ability to layer knowledge on top of web pages to annotate. And this is something that was in the pre-web, before the web, but all the computing systems pretty much had uh, annotation in them, um, in their vision of something like the web. And then in the early web with Mosaic and even in Netscape, um, experimenting with group annotations, it was always there, but it was taken out. And um, Andreessen said, I wonder how the world would be if we hadn't had to remove the ability to layer knowledge on top of web pages back in 95. So what are we doing? We're transforming the way the legacy web works. We're turning web sites into virtual spaces. So you have a, a 2D web um, shown here at the bottom. Uh, you can you can work on the XY plane basically at any given place point on one of these screens you can only do a couple things you can you can look read it listen to it watch it or you, know, you can select it maybe you might build with a click on a link or a button if that exists but the legacy web right now is has many much less uh dense connections much less links than before because to, the commercial sites don't want to send you off on to other people's sites. They want to keep you in on their site. So there's much less um, outbound linking. What we're suggesting is through the use of smart tags and NFTs that we can, we can actually layer information, interactions, transactions, and experiences on web pages. So using these smart tags, we can connect the information, the interactions to specific content on the websites. And we're building what we're calling the overchain to actually store this annotation data. It's gonna be put into the blockchain as NFT. So when you create, when you interact with one of these smart tags on a web page, you're creating information, an annotation that's gonna be turned into an NFT, put into the blockchain. So you own and control and can monetize that information. Uh, So this overweb, it really changes everything. There's a pattern. So there's three different elements, safe digital space. You know, anyone that you interact with in this, this annotation layer, this over layer over the website, you know that they're a real person in good standing with the system. So there's no unidentified bots, no fake accounts, no serial abusers. Uh, in addition to that, we have on-page presence. So you can go visible on any web page and you can then see anyone else who happens to go visible on that web page at the same time or previously to you. So you can know that there are certain people that actually go into the same websites, look at their profiles and decide if you want to initiate a communication request. This is you know, unprecedented. Websites are ghost towns right now. You have no idea who's on a website. So, you know, with this innovation, it can really change. Uh, that dynamic. 
the third thing is on page interaction. So you get a collection of smart tags that you can attach to pieces of content on web pages. This makes thinking visible. It creates the possibility of 360 degree context and allows us to give people rewards for creating content that creates value in the ecosystem. This possibility of the trust layer over the website could create so much wealth, so much wealth. Um, one market that we looked into was researchers. So there's 75 million researchers and uh, there's a possibility to help them collaborate. Uh, and we, we estimate a $4 billion market for that. Winter Group Research just did a report that they're charging $4,500 for that says that the overweb misinformation market size is $4.5 billion. So this is an outside research company. And they're just talking about about misinformation. Uh, this could be applied to just about anything. Yeah, obviously, we're not going to do everything. We're creating a platform source community that will tackle any number of things. I mean, we can see amazing decentralized applications around government and art and events. Uh, travel, all kinds of things are possible with the, when you add a meta layer, a trust layer over the internet. Uh, we're in testnet right now. We have one one dApp that's, uh, that's almost finished. We're gonna be doing hackathons uh, for the next several months, starting in May, and a, a global conference in November going to mainnet next year. We've got a highly experienced team. As I mentioned, I've been working on regeneration and decentralization and uh, entertainment for the past two decades. Uh, Joshua Arma is deep um, experience in blockchain technology, AI, data scientist. He's also an impact investor. Gideon is uh, amazing blockchain. Um, marketer so this is just the beginning of the council we have a whole nother set of people including much needed feminine energy that's going to be added to this slide um, people that have already um, agreed and we're just in the process of doing the paperwork so we're going to have a, a much more diverse uh, council uh, moving forward we are selling 10 million of our overweb tokens to non-us accredited investors and that private sale is starting later this month. So if anyone is interested, let me know. Here's my email and uh, we're gonna be using the proceeds, 50% of it for product development, research and development, 40% uh, for marketing, 10 for GNA legal patents. And there's a ton of patents that need to happen here. So thank you. It's really great to be able to present this opportunity.